Welcome to the Bob and Tam Show. But ding nation. There you go. If you haven't, you don't like the sound. It's all about the nation, though. That's right. <laughs> so today we're gonna go over and check out the dealerships. Show you some of the guys what they do. Uh, we always tell you about these dealers, but we don't always tell you what kind of work they do. So we're gonna show you a little bit of that. We're gonna show you some more girls, and uh, we'll see where we end up at tomorrow night. So don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Think about Patreon. at Destination Daytona. We got live music over here, pretty bartenders, and we are open all day and all night, and I'm Christina. Hi, guys. So we are Russ Brown Motorcycle Attorneys, and we're getting people to sign up for our BAM program. It's bikers assisting motorcycle riders throughout the 50 states. It's just a network of riders helping riders. Completely free, doesn't cost a thing, and we're actually gonna be giving away this Indian Scout Bobber in a few weeks. So come on by and see us at Oktoberfest, and we'll get you guys signed up. I'm just surprised. Every once in a while we get somebody's no, no, no. And uh, the vendors that we, we do, people cannot believe how much we buy our favorite person, which is Dan Kite. He's got the pinstriping. He's the one that does all of our work. He did the back of the truck. He did the back of the motorcycle. Actually, he did the motorcycle first. Gave us a good price. You know, we pay like everybody else. And then he took out and did our uh, buff cart for us. He does excellent work. If you guys checked out uh, when we were out there in Fayetteville for Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue, actually got to meet his son. We don't get to see him as much, but uh, let's see what uh, Dan's got to say. So what are we working on today, Dan? Hey, Bob. How's everything? Not too bad. We are striping bags. How you do that with such a steady hand, I have no idea. And it's that simple, Just right? like that. <laughs> Nothing to it. All right. And you're also going to be in Panama City. Yes, Panama City. We'll, we'll be gonna, right there we'll at the dealership again. Yes. Okay. We'll be so at, anybody uh, don't catch up with you here. Also be at Cajun Harley-Davidson in Louisiana. Okay. And Galveston, Texas, and then back in Leesburg. Come by and see us. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. That's yeah, with all that customs doing air rides, center stands, that bagger handlebars. We've got a few of them right now. Uh, we're working on a center stand, getting a center stand put on. Yes, sir. Hey, everyone. Kelsey here at Ciro. Um, we are set up at Destination Daytona here in Ormond Beach. And you can see our display here. We've got plenty of inventory. We've got all of our bikes down here. Come check it out. Um, after this, we are heading to Galveston, Texas, where we'll be set up in the harbor side lot near where the cruise ships come in. Uh, Norbert. And where are you from? I'm from Maryland, right outside D.C. But he said he's going to hook it up on the wire when I get home. Zero three D. I had a uh, new backlight put on and a new headlight. Yes, beautiful. I'm in love with my bike. We, we all are. <laughs> right now, so you, there's 10 different power on animations. So you can see that as I switch this here on the phone, so you pick which one you want and then each time you hit the brake or start it, it'll do that pattern? Yep, so 10 different power on animations. So once you set it how you want in the phone, you can leave it as is. You don't have to worry about editing it each time you want to ride. No. Alright, so what's going on? So I'm installing a shock and kit on this bike. It's just the lights that go along the saddlebag mounts around the motor to highlight the motor and a uh, kit to highlight the uh, front wheel. How long does it take to put something like that on? Uh, it takes us about an hour and a half. Okay, so it's easy to get done in one day. Yeah, very easy. Okay, sounds great. Thanks a lot. No problem. What are you doing here today? Bag blades. All right, and where do they go? It's going to be a three function run turn brake. Unfortunately, on this bike, I can't show you how they work because the guy forgot the key for his seat. Oh, well, that ain't no good. <laughs> so all I'm doing is putting them on, and he's going to wear it when he gets home. So normally, how long would it take to put something like this on? About 15 minutes. Oh, so it's an easy job. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. We're here at Wide Open Customs, and what the heck are we doing now? Putting a three-wheeler fairing on, about the sixth one I put on today. Putting a Road King special fairing on. We have been wind-drawing them today, man. Let me take it to you. 
And uh, you're going to be at the next couple rallies, right? Yep, we're going to be at Panama, Frank Brown Park, and then we're going to be in Galveston, right there at uh, Harborside. All right, so if you want to get that bearing put on, you don't have one. And uh, you have those good bearings that come right off. Yeah, they're so quick detach. on and off. Quick detach. All right, come on down. How long does it usually take to put one on? Oh, a three-wheeler takes us about 45 minutes. Okay, not too bad. Yeah. And you can get stereo and all kinds of stuff That's stereo, 300-watt speakers. Uh, we are the original unibody fairing. It means we're sealed all the way around, so it turns it into a big boom box. So not only do we look different in all of our competition, we sound different. And it's all factory colors. It's all, if you want to paint it the color of your bike, give us a call and we'll bring you one. Thank you. Thank you. So the next stop we got is going to be the fairing exchange. Let's go see what they're working on. Sounds like they're doing some rocking over there. So tell us what we're doing here today. I just put a set of 10 inch mayhem bars on this motorcycle. Avon grips. Um, on this bike over here, he just took and took the black interfering off it and he put an uh, electric blue rogue light interfering on it. Come over here with me. There you go. Hey. How long does it take to put a fairing on like that if it came in today? Typically about an hour. That's not bad. No. So handlebars, how long do you take for a handlebar and all like that one? A little more than an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Okay. And uh, okay. you're going to be in Panama City and Galveston, right, coming up? We are. All right. So We're going to stop in here. Dallas on our way to Galveston. Oh, all right. So that'll yep. be the weekend before? Yep. Halloween weekend. We'll be at American Eagle Harley-Davidson in Dallas. So we got three choices to pick you up. We don't catch you here this week. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you then. Thank you. So you're actually a YouTuber. Yes, I am. So what's the name of your channel? Real Ron TV. And what's it all about? Uh, basically reviews and upgrades on uh, my Harley Road Glide. Okay, so today <laughs> we're actually here getting, what are you getting done today? Uh, I'm continuing to spend way too much money and yeah. I put a, a blue, electric blue fairing on a 20 Road Glide. They don't make this color anymore in a 20, but I started adding like, this blue color in here, so I figured I'd finish it by putting uh, the fairing. And where are you from? Uh, South Florida, Boynton okay. Beach. Well, you're a Florida guy. Yep. Florida man. Florida man. <laughs> All right, it's a nice bike. What year is your bike? 20. That's right, you said. So go check his channel out. He's got, uh, your channel's mainly about all about your bike, right? Building it up? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so check it out. You can follow him along. If you've got a uh, road glide, you want to get some work done similar to what he's got, check him out. So we're stopping by here, Sinister Sound, and we're going to go see what they're working on today. So let's go over there, take a quick look, and see what they've got going on. Okay. So what are we doing today? Uh, doing a front system and crazy eights on a 2020 road glide. How long does it take to do something like that? Uh, this install here will probably be a little over three hours, maybe four, depending on the LED lights they have on it. And uh, what's the next couple rallies you're going to? Uh, we leave here, we go to Panama, and then from Panama we go to Galveston, and then back to Leesburg for the Gator Harley. Okay, sounds good. All right. Say his name. What are we doing? What are we doing? Where did we finish doing? What's up? Just put a set of 550 cams and a 131. Oh, so it's make all ready some, to go dynoing, huh? Yeah, you can make some big power. All right. What are we expecting out of this? 150s for torque and um, high teens for horsepower. All right. It's got a little short pipe, so we're hoping it's still going to perform well. But it's a uh, Bassani, what we normally run, so but it's a shorter version, so it's going to be exciting to kind of see what it puts out. Okay, sounds great. Yeah, yeah. So what are we expecting out of power on this thing on the dyno? Well, we, we did a base pull first on the 131, and I think that particular bike uh, pulled 117 horse and like 125 torque, something like that, 126 torque. So we're swapping the cam out today, um, taking out the 517 Harley cam, putting in an SNS 550. Um, I'm hoping to see around, oh, maybe 130 to 135 horse and 150 plus torque. Uh, this will be the third one we've done here at Biketoberfest, and the other two we did um, both did over 150 foot pounds of torque. So it's, it's that's usually what we've been getting out of it. Now exhaust plays a factor in it, and he has a, a shorter pipe on it, so that might be a little bit different. Okay. So, but yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, sounds good. All right. Hi, I'm Amanda. Come with me at Destination Daytona. Come on down and get your drinks today. Me and Amanda. Boobies. Here we go. We're gonna take a look. 
look in the Rick Rack tent and see what kind of work they're doing on here out here today. So let's go take a look inside. Installing lights? Is that what we're doing? Installing hey. lights? Yes, well, hi, how are you doing, man? Pretty good, uh, pretty good. We're uh, here at the, at the Rick Rack tent. We installed the Pro Glow, Pro Glow set lights. Uh, we're doing the full engine, plus the back and the front. So we're in the process of getting that done. We also need the headlights uh, and the turning signals. So get ready to wrap it up. How long does it take, pretty much? What did you spend on this one? Oh, this one's been about two hours, roughly two hours okay. and a half. Okay, man. So it's yeah. you can get done in a day, no problem bringing it in. Yeah, yeah. This is about the third one we we done with as much okay. uh, product. So okay. yeah, it sounds good. Here. Looks good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thanks for your time. <laughs> What's up, Chrome Premium Cigars? George, the cigar guy here, making smoke up in Daytona Bike to Overfest 2021 on Main Street. What's up, everybody? Come on into my store and see all the beautiful stuff I have. Rocking and rolling and making smoke on a Saturday night. How many are going to be open? How many more days? Tonight and tomorrow. Tonight until probably 12, 1230, depending on the crowd, which it looks like a party out there tonight, and tomorrow until at least 4 to 4.30 p.m. And we take the crew out to dinner for their hard work. Froggies will be closed tonight. We will not be open there tomorrow. But here at the main shop, 608 Main Street, we will be open tomorrow. Like I said, till 4, 430. We close and then Monday I'm open again. I get all the vendors come in and buy cigars from us and the people that are here a couple days after and they want to get some last minute deals. You come see George the Cigar Guy, Chrome Premium Cigars, where we're always making smoke. Pretty exciting day. You know, checking out all those dealers, seeing what the vendors are doing out there. Uh, I don't know if you guys like that or not. Let us know down here in the comments if you like to see the kind of work that they do and talk to their installers. You know, most of these guys are the same people they have when they travel all over. So I think it's kind of neat to see what they do. So we're going to go ahead and leave you right here. We still got Saturdays that I haven't been able to put up yet. We're just really, really super busy and having a little bit of internet trouble. So we're going to show you the highlights of Saturday, which was crazy. We're down on Main Street the whole night. Uh, a uh, lot of excitement going on. We went over to the Beaver Bar, had a meet up and greet. That was kind of neat and a uh, whole lot of stuff. So we'll show you that probably tomorrow if all goes well. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share us with your family and friends. Think about Patreon. Give us a big thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. Hopefully if all goes well, we'll have a video up tomorrow. Fingers crossed.